Hi there guys, my name is Aeon and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using my action. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we start this video tutorial, please check all the links down in the description because we will find the raw file. You can join my Telegram channel where I put all my raw files that I'm using in video tutorials and you will find the retouching actions, also the color gate actions. So let's get started. So before we start cleaning, I'm going to make some changes around the head. So I'm going to drag and drop the background layer and go to filter and liquify. I'm going to make some changes around the hair. I'm using the forward warp tool. And I think that is okay. So here is a before and after with the liquify. I think it's looking okay. I'm gonna merge these two into one. Now I'm gonna go to create a shape around the head. So around the hair, so zoom in, click on pan tool. Right click and make selection. So for the feather radius, I think that I'm gonna go by three, just like this, control and J to create uh, another shape from the selection we have made but uh, we want to invert the selection so i'm gonna go click ctrl shift and i to invert this and ctrl j to make the selection or another copy from the selection we have made and as you can see this is the selection so i'm gonna leave it here now i'm gonna go clean uh, i'm gonna leave this for later and rename it like hair selection or maybe background doesn't matter because it will affect the hair and the background so i'm gonna go click click clean click play and after we do that as you can see we have two different layers one of them is clean and one of them is a black one that layer so i'm gonna zoom in and for the cleaning we are going to use two different tools one of them is spot cleaning brush tool cleaning brush tool and patch tool so i'm gonna start this spot cleaning brush tool and i think that i will start cleaning the hair now that we are done with the clean uh, on the hair and on uh, uh, some on the face it's not that much but uh, it's a general clean i'm gonna clean the hair on the back backdrop or the background i'm gonna click control and click on the selection that says hair selection that we did before i'm gonna zoom in and i'm gonna get a mixer brush for the wet i'm going by 100 and flow by 100 and i'm gonna mix the uh, color that is in the backdrop just like this clean the hair Since the backdrop is a solid color, uh, we can use the mixer brush to clean, as you can see before and after, I think is okay. And now that we are done with cleaning, it's time for the paint separation, so I'm gonna click on FS Plus, click play, and for the right radius, I think that I'm gonna go by 8, click OK. Now open the group of the paint separation, click on the low, so we are going to work on the low first, and we are going to work on the high after, so I'm gonna click here on the mixer brush the wet i'm going to go by 10 percent load 45 mix 45 and flow by 33 i'm gonna zoom in here on the forehead and i'm gonna start mixing the skin tones now check out before and after what we've done so far into this portrait and i think that is looking okay now i'm gonna zoom in here and keep working just a little more and i think that i don't want to remove this black strip of the dress but i will make the same color as the dress now check out before and after i think is looking okay now i'm gonna make a selection around this Now right click and click make selection so I'm gonna go by radar radius I think by 2 pixels and click here on the solid color and choose this color. Now check out before and after I think it's looking okay and now that we're done with the step 2 as you can see a before and after I think it's looking okay. I'm gonna work on the lips so I'm gonna make a selection around the lips just like this with the pen tool. right click and make selection so i'm gonna go by pixels the feather radius click here again and click on solid color so i'm gonna choose the same color that it was on the dress 
now zoom in and put this on under you can zoom in again and i'm gonna make a selection inside the mouth to remove the color from the just like this Now right click, make selection and control delete, remove the color from the mouth. Now check it before and after, you can switch from normal into color or some different of them. And I think that I'm gonna stick with the normal. Now click here on effects and click on blending options. Now hold alt keyboard and click it like this to remove the color. Now click OK and check it before and after. I think it's looking OK, but I'm going to reduce this by 50%. Now check it before and after again. Now I'm going to turn off the color fill that we made on the lips. I'm going to go again on the low frequency and click Control and click here on the mask. Use the mixer brush to fix the color of the lips inside and outside. So I'm going to mix the color that is inside the lip just like this. Now you can check it before and after what we've done. And I think that it's starting to look good. Now keep working inside the lips just like that. Now click Control Shift and E. I sorry to invert it. So now I'm going to work outside the lips just like that. I'm going to remove the color around the lips. Now check out before and after, zoom out and I think that is looking okay. Now click on the high frequency and click on the lips, Control shift and I to invert it, click on the clone stamp tool and copy paste the texture because we still have some color on the texture, just like that. You can check it before and after and I think that is looking okay. Now turn on the color fill that we made before as you can see a before and after. Now I'm gonna reduce this and switch the blending mode from no normal sorry to soft light. I think it's kind of way too much so I'm gonna lower this by 50% something like that. Now check it before and after. I think it's okay but as you can see we have a sharp line uh, around the lips. So I'm going to turn off all this and I'm going to make a, uh, with a laser tool, I'm going to make a selection just like this. Go to filter. Oh, sorry, I'm going to uh, make another copy from the low frequency just like this. I'll make a selection again. Go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And we're going to make some uh, softer lines just like this you can check it before and after i think it's okay but i'm gonna make a mask make it all black with a white brush i'm just gonna paint it around the lips because it was way too sharp now you can check it before and after i think it's looking a little better now turn on the color fill and check it before and after and i think that is okay now that we're done with the lips i'm gonna click on dodge and burn so we're gonna uh, put some dodge and burn into this portrait i'm gonna start with a dodge with a white brush and 10 percent opacity i'm just gonna paint it where i want to dodge this portrait Now check it before and after, I think it's okay, now turn out the desaturated layer, check it before and after all the dodge, now check it before and after all this entire process, I think it's looking okay, click on the burn and start working with the burn, I'm gonna put some burn into the cheeks just a little and around the forehead just a little on the eyebrows and then eyelashes under the lip now check it before and after I think it's okay but I'm gonna reduce it open the burn and turn off the saturated layer 
now zoom in check a before and after i think it's okay now i'm gonna click here on the event separation i'm gonna merge these two into one i'm gonna drag and drop this to create another copy i'm gonna select the dodge tool and i'm gonna pop up uh, the mice so just like that don't forget to do the spot test in both of them. Zoom out and check a before and after. I think this one is looking okay, but it's way too much, but we are going to reduce the opacity. Now click here on the burn and with 10% opacity, I'm just going to paint it around the eyelashes. Just like that. Now I'm gonna make a contour around the eyes. Do the spot test in both of them. Now check a before and after. I think it's looking amazing, but I'm gonna reduce it by 50% and check a before and after of this entire process. Now that we are done with the retouch, I'm gonna add some, I'm just gonna do like this. I'm gonna put some color grading action so i'm gonna go by a9 i guess and check a before and after i'm gonna open these and i'm gonna check all of them one by one until i find the best color grading options just gonna reduce it by 25 and checking the other settings Now check out before and after of this entire process so far i'm gonna put some other adjustments so i'm gonna click here on the selective color and click on the yellows and i'm gonna make some changes on the yellow tone just like this and reduce it by 50 percent click again on the selective color and click on the reds so i'm gonna make some changes on the red color now check out before and after and reduce it by 35 sorry now click again and click on the color balance click on the highlights so i'm gonna make some changes on the highlights too now check out before and after of this one i think it's looking okay but i'm gonna reduce it by 50 percent click again on the color balance click on midtones and I want my midtones kind of into red, into yellow, something like that. I'm gonna switch the blending mode to normal to soft light and reduce it uh, into 25. Now check a before and after. Put this inside the A1 and click here on the face contouring, click play. Wait until it's done. Check a before and after. Double click and uh, highlights, midtones, and shadows. So I'm gonna make some changes on the highlights just a little play with the midtones too now check a before and after of this one reduce it just a little put this inside and check a before and after you can zoom in now check a before and after again so this is the before this is after retouch and this is before and this is after retouch and color grade and I think that is looking amazing. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file, the touching actions, and the color grade that I'm using right now. Also, you have to join my Telegram channel to get this raw file and to follow this step-by-step -step process of the retouching. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.